One of the components we've included in the latest Qt 3D offering is a QML application called Asset Viewer. Now, if you're anything like us, you've tried to do things with 3D and you've found that off-the-shelf models are often not in the right position, uh, they might not be aligned correctly, scaled incorrectly, and things like that. So, that's what Asset Viewer is aimed at addressing. You can find it in the Util Q3D Asset Viewer uh, section of the project, and the application itself looks like this. So it starts off in default mode with a model loaded. This is the penguin model, which is the default, but I'm going to load something else. Okay, that doesn't look very good. In fact, you can't even tell what it is. So what I'll do is just adjust each of these, just entering a new scaling value for each of the major axes there. It's still not quite right, so I'll zoom out a little, and you can see the, the scaling numbers changing there. And so we've got a right view, front view, and top view of the model. So this is looking pretty good. And if I want to look at one of those larger, I can just click there, and it'll take me to a zoomed in view. So I'll stay in the zoomed in view here. Now you've already seen me adjusting the scale uh, via the keyboard. I can also adjust the position, the rotation, and you can adjust all of these either via the keyboard, via the buttons here, or using the mouse. So I'll just get that to a position that I like. That looks pretty cool there. So here's a model I might want to use in my application and I want it positioned just so. Now what I might also want to do is add a cool transparent sort of effect to a, the model to make it look like it's cloaked or to use as a shield or something like that. I don't know. But to make it look cool. So what I'll do is edit the material used for this model and just adjust it to where I want. Just add a little bit of alpha there so it's semi-transparent. There we go. There's our semi-transparent model which we can use in our application. So I'll leave it there. Now what I do is export that to QML and I'll save that as voyager.qml and I can then use that in any QML application where I'm using 3D. So I would use it as just a Voyager object which I've imported into my QML application and all of those rotations, scalings, positionings and adjustments to the effect used will be saved in that application. So hopefully that'll save you a lot of work when you're creating 3D applications and allow you to use Qt3D more effectively. Thanks.